If you're paying more than $10,000 in property taxes a year, or you're thinking about buying a home over $500,000, this tax bill is going to affect you, so pay attention. All right, guys, so we are talking about the Trump tax reform plan, which is going to affect a lot of people that own homes or are planning to buy homes in the future. And as of now, this tax reform bill passed the House, but it has not passed the Senate. But you definitely want to pay attention, especially if you live in a state that has high property taxes. The taxes are too damn high like New Jersey, Texas, California, or if your mortgage is over $500,000. This tax reform bill reduces two major tax reductions. Number one, this caps the property tax write-off to $10,000. So if you're paying more than $10,000 in property taxes, like a lot of people in high property tax states, you're going to pay more taxes and you're gonna get less of a write-off. <laughs> Wait, what, what's a tax deduction? A tax write-off lets you reduce your total income that you're telling the government that you make, so basically you're paying less taxes. Without deductions, you're paying taxes on 100% of the money that you make, and that's bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. So you mean I'm gonna pay more taxes? Yeah, basically if you're paying more than $10,000 in property taxes, you're gonna have less of a write-off, which means more taxes. And the second reduction has to do with the mortgage tax write-off. If your mortgage is over $500,000, you're not going to be able to write off any additional uh, mortgage interest above that amount. And this is only for new mortgages, so if you ha already have a mortgage, this won't affect you. But if you're buying a new home and the mortgage is gonna be over 500,000, you cannot receive any more benefit than the interest you're paying on $500,000. So that can definitely, definitely affect a lot of people, especially where home prices are very high. So New York, shoot, in New York, you can't even buy a house for under $500,000. Uh, San Francisco, things like that. They are also totally eliminating the mortgage interest deduction for second homes. So those are the two big deductions for the tax reform plan that apply to real estate. In summary, if this tax reform bill passes, your property tax deduction will be capped at $10,000. And for new mortgages over $500,000, you will only be able to write off the interest on the first $500,000 and none above that. Keep in mind, this tax reform bill hasn't passed, but it is important to pay attention to because it does affect a lot of people. Hopefully this information was helpful and helps you plan for the future. Definitely like my Facebook page and subscribe on YouTube. I try to provide a lot of information that's going to help you out in real estate. Bye-bye.